Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about inequalities and you'll be able to do 2.6. Today's students will be able to set up, solve, and graph one-step inequalities. So before we start, um, I want you to have these notes. And so, less than is in Spanish menor que and the symbol is like this. Greater than, it opens this way and it's mayor que. Less than or equal to is less than or equal. It means it includes that number or lower than that. In Spanish is menor o igual que. Greater than or equal to, it's greater or equal, mayor o igual que. And then the tricky ones are at most, at most, a lo mucho, lo máximo. Eso es no, no más de ahí. Okay? So it's actually less or equal than. Okay? Menos o igual que eso. So at, I can eat th uh, three tortillas at most. Basically, I need to eat three or less. And at least... Uh, it means lo mínimo es, no menos de, o por lo menos. So if I, like, if you want to go and find a job, I want to earn at least something per hour. So I want that much or more, okay? So greater or equal than. And the minimum, the minimum is, it means that I want that or more. The minimum is $20 per hour, for example. That means I want more than $20 or at least that much, okay, the minimum. The limit, so it's less, uh, less than that or up to that point. So if there is like a limit of people going into a room because otherwise it's going to be too full, then that means I need to have less or equal to that number. And the maximum is um, also, that's the that's the top that I can get, so it's less or equal than that, okay? So this is gonna help us for the assignment. Um, so let's start with a word problem. So it says, you have a box of apples and an apple in your hand. You have more apples than your friend who only has five apples. How many apples might you have? Okay, and that's that should be in in how many apples in the box? That's what it means. Okay, so you have a box of apples. Okay, that's X because we don't know how many apples are in that box. And one apple in your hand. So plus one. You have more apples than your friend. More than it's greater than. Okay. And your friend has five apples. So whatever you have in the box plus the one in your hand is greater than five. So how many apples might you have in the box? We're gonna subtract one in the, that is in the hand. And so it's gonna be X is greater than five minus one is four. That means that the box has more than four, not only exactly four, but more than four. And so how do you graph that? Well, you put zero, one, two, three, four. We have a circle, and because we don't have the equal sign, we're gonna leave the circle open. It means it does not include four, it has to be greater than four. And so my arrow represents the value of x and x is greater than four, what are the greater numbers than four? So it's gonna be to the right. So number five, six, seven, this arrow represents this x, okay? So the greater numbers are to the right. Again, we don't have an equal sign in here. That's why the circle is open, okay? Let's do another example. Says you have two bags of bananas. You have less than your brother 
who has 10 bananas. Okay, so you have two bags of bananas. You have less than your brother. The less than is like this. And your brother has 10 bananas. How many bananas might there be in each bag? So we're going to divide. The opposite of multiplication is division. And so x is less than 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that means that each bag has less than 5 bananas. Okay, again, we're going to graph it. So we put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's where our circle is going to be placed. And again, we're going to do the arrow. Um, we don't have an equal sign, so we don't include 5. It's less than 5, not including 5. And so the arrow represents my variable x, meaning the bananas inside of each bag. And it says that it's less than 5, so it has either 4, 3, 2, 1, etc., etc. Okay, so it's going to go to the left because it's less. One dot means less. Two dots, it's greater. Okay, but in here is one dot together with the x, so to the left. Let me show you how that, about dots. The x has, in the first one, it had two dots. So I always put one dot on the left, two dots in the right, so it's going to point from the number, from the circle, towards those dots. Two dots because it has x is greater to, with two dots. Okay, let's do another one. It says you need money to buy a two dollar bag of chips. You have one dollar in your pocket if you want to buy the chips, at least how much more money do you need? At least, okay? So in here, we have to ask our questions because the, the information is uh, kind of mixed. What you have is, what you need is certain amount of money plus the $1, and it should be, if you think about it, equal to or greater than two dollars right you need at least meaning you need either two dollars or three or four even if you have change it's okay but you cannot have less than two dollars so I'm gonna put the two down here over here and then the money that you need plus the one dollar needs to be greater or equal than two again what you need to do is ask yourself okay if I put the two my money together, does it need to be more or less than two? Okay, it should be more, otherwise you're not going to be able to, to buy it. And some people say, I don't know when to put the equal sign. You can ask yourself, will it be enough if my money is equal to two? And yeah, it will be fine because as long as you have the two dollars, then you are going to be able to buy it. So this can also be equal. That's when you put this symbol down here. Okay, so I start solving by subtracting. And so x is greater or equal than 2 minus 1, 1. That means that the money that I need is, the money that I need, remember that's represented by the x, is more or equal to 1. So 0, 1 dollar. I put the circle in here. Because I have this right here, I close the circle. I said, if you have something that looks like the pencil, right? This doesn't, that's not the pencil. But this is, if I have a pencil, I can color it in. And so greater, greater, this is one dot, this is two dots, goes to the right. So it's in here. Some students ask me if they can do the arrow in here, and I said the only reason for which I do it like this is to make it easier for me to grade it. But if you want to put it on the number line, that's fine. Just make sure that you uh, use a different color so I can easily see it. 
okay so that's all for today um i hope you have fun and now you can do 2.6 goodbye